Today we're going to discuss the app called Rocketbook and using it with the notebook with the same title of Rocketbook. I'll show you how you set up your app. We're going to show you how you scan your pages for whether for your handwritten notes, whether it be for meetings, to-do lists, whatever it might be. So we're going to go through the process. And with this app and its notebook, you could greatly reduce what you need to bring to meetings. So basically your meeting would be uh, a couple pens. I like to use a blue and a red one. Uh, they have to be the special pens that are erasable. Um, and we'll discuss that in a little bit. And then your the Rocketbook notebook and your smartphone. In this case, it's an iPhone 6 that we're going to use for the demonstration. Okay, so we're going to get started on using Rocketbook. I'm going to show you how to set up your scans. I'm going to show you how to set up your destinations. So in this case here, the first thing we're going to do is just set up a new, do a new scan. So I already have something set there. We'll turn the light on, makes it easier to scan. You just bring it up, and when it gets to the edges there, it starts the process. And when you're done, you hit done. And so in this case, I had one from before, and we're going to name it now. So it automatically will, will give it a rock a book with a date and time and things like that. So we'll put this one as quotes. We'll do done and back and we're going to send. I was sending both of them because they were in there. And so I sent it off to my email. So we're going to close this up. So what, how you set this up is you go under the destinations. In the lo lower right there you t tap on destinations and you'll see the rocket, the diamond, apple, bell, etc, etc. And so you go in and set up what you want. So in this very first one, I have it set up that is for the email. So you could tap on change destination and you can send it wherever you want. Okay. File type, I have it set up. It's going to be a PDF for this very first item. I have bundle scans off, auto send off. It gives me time so I could go in and um, name the um, scan. So in this one, I have a set going to my OneNote and again bundle scans is off but it's going to my OneNote. You could have a Google Drive and this one down here this one's going to a little different email and so this one let's see I have it going to a, a basically a test email that I have out there and it will bundle scan so the, the value of this is that say you scan multiple pages it's going to bundle them all together and then send them all out for you as one so you can do the same thing there for your main one if you want so we'll just change that and we'll go from there so let's uh, let's just say we do another scan and I'll show you a a tip if you go into here after you set up your destinations before you proceed just touch the check and it'll go out there and verify that those are all valid emails or destinations for this. So I really recommend that. All right, so we're going to go in and do another scan. We'll tap New Scan. And so this one here is just a few favorite books. And we'll do Done. And so we could put this here. We'll, we'll rename it. and it will send. Okay, so there's a few things I really recommend as you go through this and I'm going to show you those as we go forward. These are our tips that I have that I put together for using Rocket Scanner. So we'll go in Alright, put them together, tips and tricks, rocket scanner. We'll save it, go back, 
and we'll send it to my email. Okay, so the scan came in to my email because that's how it was set up, and you'll see that it goes. To, uh, came from me via Rocketbook and has the uh, the Rocketbook email that it comes from. Has this little attachment there after you open it and things like that. Um, this would be the the PDF that was attached, so we're just going to download it and um, we'll open it real quick, and you'll see that's exactly um, that what we uh, scanned. Uh, nice and neat, uh, or as best you can, reading my writing. My handwriting okay so what we then have or what we can do is we could take this item and drag it over into uh, OneNote okay so we downloaded the scan that we had uh, that was sent to us from Rocketbook and I have OneNote open and I already have a tab created for it so we're going to drag it over like we would normally drag anything into OneNote and we get to prompt attach file or insert printout so in this case for the example we're going to select insert printout it does its thing and you'll see that it scanned it in uh, without any issues at all and then as always it attached it um, as a PDF right here and so it gave it the title a few favorite books based on the file name as we dragged it over and that's just uh, inherent to, to OneNote Okay, so we scanned another one. Uh, this one here, I did not name it. I just let it name it itself using the date and the time. So we're going to drag this over, insert printout, it will do its thing, and it brings it in. So you'll see the scan still slightly uh, on the lighter side. Okay, so depending on how good your handwriting is, and in, so this example here, I, I actually went back in and scanned it, another page, sent it to them, and then dropped it in. And so again, you just drop it in as a PDF. You select insert as a PDF. Um, but this one here, I, I took my time and printed better. So I'm looking for the word ideas. And you'll see that it highlights it right here. And it shows where it is on the page. And so let's just see if we can find any other letters. So it hasn't learned any of my other letters yet, but what I've noticed over time is, is that it will start to pick up what you do. Uh, but it isn't perfect, I'll say that straight up. It is not perfect. Uh, it, a lot of it and most of it has to do with how well you uh, print. To summarize, write down your notes ideas, to-do list, and more. Your drawings, anything you have. Remember, it works exactly like a normal notebook, but better. Keep in mind, do not press too hard on the pages. And you must only use the types of pens indicated. Select a destination by coloring or marking an X through the icon on the very bottom of the page that indicates where you want to send your scanned pages. Scan your pages using the Rocketbook app on your mobile device. What takes place then, and once you scan it, it goes off into the cloud, which makes it easy for printing, for sharing, for storing, for studying, and use on many devices. Even if you hand wrote this, and some folks uh, have stated that they like to take the handwritten notes and they maybe retype them as they get in there. For me, I like to handwrite notes. I remember them longer. Keep in mind that since the scans are in the cloud, you could access them easily, either through OneNote, Evernote, your email, obviously, Dropbox, many other uh, options are available. So I hope this stuff helps. I hope this information is good for you. Share your information, share your comments, and let me know how it works. Thanks. Check back for more tips and tricks from Dr. Frank and Computer Magic.